So here we are in Columbus Junction, Iowa. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go on that or not. The swinging bridge collapsed with two people. Either were injured though, thank goodness. This bridge is 262 feet long. I don't know. I actually was, I didn't sleep very well last night because I was thinking about this, if I was going to do this or not. And I actually didn't sleep very well because I was, because of anxiety over this. This is what I'll do. I'll go out a little ways. And... It does swing. And it kind of bounces too. <laughs> Fail. No, I'm not going to go on that. But it does bounce, as you can see. I think it's about an 80 foot drop. But uh, I wanted to show this to you. Well, I am actually on the bridge, but, and it does bounce. If I wasn't holding a camera, I'd feel more comfortable about doing it. So I could put both hands on the, uh, I could put both hands on the walkways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's perfectly safe and everything, but you'll have to call me a chicken today. Thanks for watching. No, I, I don't do well with heights. <clears throat> I get vertigo just sometimes at the, on the second balcony at the mall, <laughs> looking out over the edge. But, uh,
I'm in Columbus Junction, Iowa. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So this is the town of Columbus Junction. One interesting thing about this Casey's right here is that uh, I was riding to Davenport with a friend. We got this far and then our car broke down. And so we ended up sitting in this parking lot for several hours. <laughs> the guy that I was with could uh, fix about anything. But he was, so we bought a new starter, you know, by phone and, the, and they delivered it. And then the guy I was with installed the starter. <laughs> but that was an interesting day. Another thing is, uh, I used to play in a band back in the late 90s. And our very first gig was in this town. And uh, I want to see if I can find the place. But, uh, our very first gig was in this town. And that was kind of a disaster. You know, your, your first... Your first uh, gig, your first paying gig, and uh, we we were not prepared. We didn't have enough songs, and our bass player left right at the end of the, when we were about you know three quarters of the done, three quarters of the way finished. Our bass player decided to leave. We never worked with him again after that, but. Uh, uh, so um, that was an interesting experience as well. And uh, one of those nights was a, it was Halloween. And it was like a costume party. So that, that made for a crazy night. There was this one guy dressed up like a giant chicken that was dancing around. It always makes you feel good when people start, when you're playing in a band and people start to dance. Back when we played there, it was called Ronnie's Rhythm and Brews. Brew, like a bear, brews. Ronnie's Rhythm and Brews. And it was one of these places right along in here is where we played. I'm thinking maybe it was right there next to the Mexican restaurant because we did go next door and uh, we ate Mexican food next door and it is pizza time 